Okay, hello. Today we're going to look at how to open an encrypted email that you may have received from a teacher or someone in the district. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, you'll want to be just logged into your Google account or whatever you use for email. I'm using Gmail here though. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Gmail account. And you'll see here that I received an encrypted message. Now it's sent from myself, um, but don't be confused by that. It will have your teacher's name there who it was sent and it'll say encrypt message. You've received an encrypted message. Now, if you don't, if the teacher said that they were sending you something, um, the first ones that I was sending when I was making, uh, my test videos in that here, they were actually going into my spam. So if you don't see it, check your spam. Now, mine no longer go to spam because I mark them as that I told the system that they were not spam. So, all right. But anyhow, um, go ahead and click on it. Now you may receive a message like this that looks really scary or that. Um, the reason for this, we believe, is that at some point people received messages like this and they have blocked it or marked it as suspicious. And so now, according to Google, these messages, um, they just want to give you a heads up that it, it could be. But as long as you know that you uh, received the message from your your uh child's teacher that it should be just fine. So go ahead, then you can just click look safe. Now, the next thing that we have to do is, well, we'll read this. It says you've received an encrypted message from M. Dobbin to view your message, uh, save and open the attachment and the following instructions. You're going to have to make sure and use your, uh, the account, the email account that you're using. Okay. So then we simply scroll down here. And if I click on and click download, and then we come over here and we are going to go ahead and click on message. Then we're going to tell it that we want to use a one-time passcode. All right. So we click one, use a one-time passcode. Now we've got to go back to our email and click on our inbox and we should here in just a minute get that one time passcode. I I found that um, these encrypted messages sometimes I'm not sure the process that's going on behind the scenes, but I know that uh, oftentimes, you know, if I'm sending a regular email to someone, I, I could be on the phone with that person and say, okay, here, I just sent it. And usually within 10, 15 seconds, they get the message. Um, when a, a message is encrypted and using the encrypted process here, it seems like it takes a little bit longer. It took actually about four minutes from the time I sent this encrypted message till it appeared in my box. So just keep that in mind. If the teacher has told you that they sent you a message, um, you know, you, you again, you want to check your spam. Um, and but most of all, just be patient. It may take a few minutes from the time that they've sent it. But OK, so now, though, our one time passcode has come through. We click on that. We can simply write it down or we can copy and paste this. So I'm going to hit copy. Then I'm going to go back in. I'm going to now right click on this. I'm going to hit paste, paste my passcode in there. Um, this is a pri now. I can check this if I want. That's totally up to you. You don't need to. It doesn't matter what you do on that. But um, go ahead and click continue. And now you see that the message opens up. Um, I attached. I put a a silly little attachment in here. This was just a test document that I had used for some other videos that I'd made in the past and that. So when I sent that email, that was the, the first PDF that came up. So I selected it, but um, it'll be just like any other email here in the body. I only wrote test, but um, the teacher may have written you out a message here. They also may, have, may or may not have included an attachment. 
Um, so again, um, it's it's quite simple. Don't be intimidated by any of those uh, those scary message boxes that you may have seen or that. So I'll go back to, I open that again. Well, it doesn't do it the next time because I've already told Google that I think it's safe. So, um, but if you do get that, please don't be intimidated by it. If, if you have any questions or that, feel free to reach out to uh, your child's teacher and they can walk you through or, and even if need be, they can bring me in and uh, we can get it all sorted out though. But okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, have a wonderful day and talk to you soon. Thanks.